is my June book haul. So this is actually going to be kind of a May-June combo book haul. You know, I did that book outlet haul and my BEA haul, but I still have more books that I've accumulated these last two months that I want to show you guys. So let's do this. So first up, I have here the Booksplosion Book of the Month pick for June, which is off the Page by Jodi Picot and her daughter, Samantha Van Leer. This month we're working with Random House, so they actually sent me this advanced reader copy, but it is a beautiful advanced reader copy. Like, there's pictures and it's in color and it's just, it's a quality arc. It's about a girl who falls in love with this prince from a fairy tale and then she pulls him literally from the pages of the book and he has to deal with being in the real world and just hilarity and hijinks ensue, I'm sure. I haven't read it yet. This is my next read though because the live show is on July 2nd. I've actually been watching the YouTube channel. There's a YouTube channel for Prince Oliver as he is trying to cope with the modern world and it's kind of adorable and hilarious and just makes me all the more excited to read this book. So yeah, if you click right here right now, you can go check out that YouTube channel and I will also put it in the description along with all of the info about the read-along in case you are interested in joining us. Then I have a couple books here that I just bought yesterday kind of on a whim, like they were books I I had been interested in for a while and I just decided to go for it because God knows I don't have enough books already. So I have here The Martian by Andy Weir. This is, I believe, a standalone sci-fi novel about an astronaut who gets left behind on Mars. Not only have I just heard amazing things about the book, but it's being adapted into a film coming out later this year and the trailers look awesome. So I want to read this first. Hence, the purchasing of it. I also picked up The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brockenbro, which I talked about in a releases video. I think it came out at the end of April, I believe. It's a recent release. It's about these personified versions of love and death who are placing bets on this kind of doomed couple on whether their relationship will result in love or death. And it just sounds really interesting. Lots of praise and buzz to surrounding this book, so I, I had to pick it up. Next up, I have some books here that I received from various publishers. First is one that I really, really wanted to get at BEA, but I missed out on it, so when I had the chance to request it, I jumped on it immediately, and that is Armada by Ernest Cline. Now, I absolutely loved Ready Player One. Like, it's one of my favorite books of all time, and as soon as I heard about this, like a year ago, I have been anticipating it. It's like a nerdy gamer sci-fi action adventure type story and it just sounds so fun and cool and I can't wait to read it. Next up I have a book that I received from Penguin and that is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adia. This is another book that I talked about in a releases video. I think it was my May releases video maybe? It's a YA retelling of A Thousand and One Nights and it just sounds really cool. I also got to briefly meet Renee at a signing in New York when I was there for BEA and she was so lovely and sweet it made me that much more excited to read her book. Also we got those deckle edges happening. I do love a good deckle edge. Next up from HarperCollins I have The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is the sequel to The Queen of the Tearling which I just recently read and I really enjoyed it so I requested book two so I could continue on with the series right away. Like while book one is still fresh in my head I want to carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace, except there won't be because shit's about to go down. Then I have here End of Days by Susan E, which is the third and final book in the Penryn and the End of Days trilogy. If you aren't familiar with this trilogy, it's like a post-apocalyptic, gritty, angels are kind of the bad guys type of series, and it's awesome. I'm always a little bit apprehensive about series finales because a lot of the time they're missing that oomph that I just really want from them, but 
I've been hearing great things about this one so far, so I'm quite keen to get into it and see how the story all wraps up. Then, from Quirk Books, I have here The League of Regrettable Superheroes by John Morris. I had to look because I wasn't sure. There was this period of time where superheroes were really trendy and people were just trying to come up with any kind of superhero they could think of, and we ended up with some pretty weird ones, which are now catalogued in this beautiful color book. Color and pictures in color! Dr. Vampire! I think I watched a K-drama like that. The face! Oh my god. Dr. Hormone! I love this already. And finally, I have some books here that I received from some of you guys. Now I have actually closed down the P.O. box, but I have one last batch of books to get through, so let's do this. So first up, I have the Infernal Devices manga. Graphic novels. I think they're manga. They look more like manga. And these were a gift from Dennis, who has given me books before, and just thank you again so very much, Dennis. I actually already read the first one here, like I couldn't help myself, and I will be reading these two soon as well. Then I have here More Than This by Patrick Ness, and this was a gift from Cindy, so thank you so much, Cindy. I'm ashamed to admit that I have not yet read a Patrick Ness book, but I've wanted to for a very long time, and I think I might actually start with this one because it feels like less of a time investment than the Chaos Walking trilogy, which I do want to read, but I think I'm going to get to this one first. Next up, from Danny, I have three graphic novels. The Wicked and the Divine, Bandit, and Displacement. I actually had not yet heard of any of these, but I'm really excited to get to them. And Danny, it was also great to meet you at BookCon. I'm glad we got a minute to chat about our shared love for graphic novels, and just thank you again for sending me these graphic novels and the ones you've sent me before. I'm really enjoying my exploration into the graphic novel medium, and Danny, I am just loving your taste in graphic novels, so thank you so much once again. Then I have here the the Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, and this was a gift from Terry, so thank you so much, Terry. I do really appreciate you sending this to me, even though I actually already have a copy of this book. I just, I have to read this book soon, okay? Now I have two copies sitting around. This needs to be, like, bumped all the way up to the top of my TBR. Especially since books two and three in this series are coming out like this fall and then January, I think they're coming out real soon, so I gotta get on this. But yeah, just thank you again, Terry, for seeing this in the store and thinking of me. I do really appreciate it. And finally, I have here Sabriel by Garth Nix, and this was a gift from Ashley, so thank you so much, Ashley. I actually received a copy of Clarial, the prequel novel from the publisher not too long ago, but the popular opinion seems to be start with this book. And that's what I wanted to do, and now I can do that. So thank you again, Ashley, for sending this to me. I will definitely start with this one. All right, there you have it. Those are all the books I had to haul, and that is going to be it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night, and I will have another video up soon. So I will see you then. Goodbye! I'm like a book magnet. They just come at me. Ah! And next up, I have a book that I received from P P P P P This girl is on fire! Remember how my hair was kind of curled at the beginning of this video? I sweated my curls away. Disgusting. Goodbye! Oh, Jesus Christ, I almost knocked you the fuck over.